at 511-176. If you've seen some of my stuff uh, with personal identification system, then you probably have a good understanding of, of where I'm going to go with this. But what I try to do with a lot of my clientele is I try to group them um, specifically based on like what their body type is. Uh, you know, for I have uh, accelerators and drivers and hybrids. All right. So your drivers are going to be your big donkeys, you know, probably six, three and above 220 plus big lower halves, guys that can produce a lot of force into the ground. And then your accelerators are going to be the opposite, you know, where they're not as tall, they're not as big, they're going to rely more on their fast twitch muscle fibers, their ability to accelerate um, down the slope. And then your hybrids are the, just the guys that do everything really well. So at U511, 176, you, are, you essentially, I don't want to use, I guess I'm going to have to, I can't think of another word to use, but like manipulate the energy system of throwing a baseball. So the way I look at energy, um, there's like three different types of energy, ground force production, forward acceleration, and then rotational energy through separation. And we just want to make up for potentially lost ground that maybe is somewhere, um, you know, like within ground force, you're probably not going to, you're going to be limited to the amount of ground force production you can get because of, you know, your weight and your size. So I would actually encourage more initial move tempo, more forward momentum in the initial move. All right. So what I mean by that is if we drew like a line here and from your, say your, your lead hip, we'll leave the cursor there. All right. So you see, you don't, you don't really cross that cursor until your descending move. And then when you do descend, you get a pretty aggressive trunk tilt. Not that it's necessarily a, like a demonized, like bad move in and of itself. But I think what's, what's happening now is there's a perception of power thing where your mind tells you like, Hey, let's do this move to then feel powerful on the back leg. Again, not bad in and of itself, but what that's causing you to, to, to leak, not leak, but limp be limited to is the amount of forward acceleration you can get down the slope and the amount of force to be blocked by the lead leg okay now that's just one piece that's an encouragement i'm going to program that in the report i think that's going to be the first thing that maybe we'll play around with is is getting you to um to utilize gravity more right we're on a slope right we want to accelerate down the slope um and then essentially increase the amount of energy that that we can be blocked with our lead leg. All right, dudes, Robbie Rowe here. Thank you for watching that video. If you're interested in booking your own mechanical analysis, you can click that link right there. Also tell you a little bit about the service and what it entails. Hit that link right there. Subscribe, please. You can also check out that video right there, which is related to the video that you just watched if you want to get some more context on that. All right, guys, much love. God bless. Till next time. See ya. Strike three, you're out!